Today on Running in Health, episode 2, we will be covering why exercise is so important for your health, but something both mental and physical. We will then discuss gym memberships around campus and Toronto. We also cover free versus paid classes, compare prices, and find what's best to do for students. So here's the Trinity Gym. We have an elliptical, track machine, a rower, back exercise machine, um, Olympic rings and a pull-up station, bars, free weights, a weight machine that is actually broken. You see this way, there's also a television. This is a private gym. And the UFT student can use it, you just have to show your T card. How will it help me improve my grades? How will it help my brain function better? I'm a UFT student, remember? Exercise has antidepressant properties. Exercise triggers the production of endorphins, means morphine within. When activated, opiate receptors block pain signals to the nervous system, which provides the body with a natural pain reliever and also causes euphoric event. Endorphins, however, don't work for long periods of time, as our body also makes endorphin enzymes which eradicate them. Nevertheless, regular exercise becomes addictive for people because of the endorphins. refers to the activity of the adrenal gland in a flight or fight response, what is releasing adrenaline, epinephrine. When releasing adrenaline, your body releases dopamine and can act as a natural painkiller. Some studies have found that exercise boosts activities in the brain's frontal lobes and the hippocampus. After injury, endorphins allow animals to feel a sense of power and control over themselves that allows them to persist with activity for an, extended, for an extended period of time. We are loving it. <laughs> what health benefits do you take from exercise before, besides physical benefits? Like, do you find that there's a mental component about exercise? Absolutely. Like when you're on the field or when you're on the floor, you feel good and you work super hard and you're with these girls that you love. Um, mentally, you're all together as a team and that's what's important. Not only the physical but also the mental that you can do it. Personal training is also conducted by Hard House personal training staff. Just ask at the reception desk. Pretty simple. Hard House also, also offers free drop-in classes for students. You don't need to sign up, but just show up during the regular scheduled times. Registered classes? Hardhouse also offers registered classes that last from two months to a semester, so it works really well with student schedules. Compared to classes around Toronto, they are much, much cheaper, almost 40% up. For instance, on average, a belly dancing class costs $14 per session, whereas at Hard House, it's only $7. Hard to argue with that. Four, two, five, Alex. Oh. Uh, oh, it's hot, it's all target. Five, Alex. <laughs> Athletic shoes. Your shoes may be the most important piece of equipment that you invest in when becoming physically fit. If you don't have supportive shoes that fit just right, 
You could end up with, you could end up with pain or long-term injury or worse, blisters that will deter you from ever exercising ever again. Also, keep yourself hydrated. That's very important. You don't want to pass out at the gym and have people find you lying on the ground. That's just embarrassing. <laughs> Championships at any other university in the country compete with other universities in badminton, baseball, basketball, cross country running, curling, fast pitch, fencing, field and indoor hockey, field lacrosse, figure skating, football, golf, ice hockey, bed, biking, rowing, rugby, Nordic skiing, soccer, squash, swimming, tennis, track and field, volleyball, water polo, wrestling, and cheerleading. <laughs> Times and places for or times and places to try out for teams are posted in the Athletic Center and listed in many of the student handbooks. It's easy to cheer on your favorite Varsity Blues teams as U of T students are admitted for free in to, all <laughs> to all regular season events in the Varsity Sports. That last paragraph sucks. <laughs> sports Medicine Clinics. Uh, David L. McIntosh Sports Medicine Clinic, St. George Campus. The clinic specializes in all health issues related to physical activity in a comprehensive sport medicine care facility. You don't have to be a high performance athlete to come to the facility. Call 416-978-4678. So most students think that they're not paying for gym membership at, at the University of Toronto. But that's actually not true at all. It's just included in your tuition fees. Next episode of Renegade Health, episode 3, will cover tattoos and body piercings. <laughs> Bum 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 b